Let's take a look at whether BAO is an acid, base, or neutral. So barium, that's right here. This is a metal, and oxygen over here, that's a nonmetal. Since we have a metal and a nonmetal, we expect this will be an ionic compound. We'd call it barium oxide. And so we have a metal and oxygen. This is a metal oxide. And metal oxides in group one and two, in general, they act as basic oxides. So in answer to our question, we consider this to be a basic oxide. Let's see what happens when it reacts with water and then with hydrochloric acid. So we have solid barium oxide. We put it in liquid water and the reaction takes place. We end up with barium hydroxide. This is considered a strong base. If we have excess water, this would be aqueous. So we'd get the barium ion, Ba2+, and then we'd get two of these hydroxide ions, OH-. And we have two of these. Because of that, the solution would be basic because we have these hydroxide ions. Let's look at what happens when we put barium oxide with hydrochloric acid. So our solid barium oxide, most likely aqueous hydrochloric acid, when these react, we get barium chloride, which is a salt, in water. So the acid here, it was neutralized by the barium oxide, which acts as a base. So again, we have barium oxide, which is a basic metal oxide. Let's look at the trend for the oxides on the periodic table. So as we go across, we're looking at period three. These compounds are formed with elements in period three, one, two, three. So period three across here. And as we go across period three, we have these basic metal oxides to these acidic metal oxides. When we put these non-metals with oxides in water, we end up with an acidic solution. Over here, we have a basic solution. And then in the middle, we have this aluminum oxide, which will depend on what it reacts with as whether it acts as a base or an acid. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.